Hello. Hi, beloveds. How are you? How are you? I wanted to catch the sunset with you and say hello to your beautiful self coming here from the backyard. <laughs> Gotta um, kind of be careful. Um, Gotta look at where I'm walking. There's a lot of uh, tall grass. <laughs> Hi, Darlene. Hey, how are you? Hey, Atul. It's good to see you here. Hi. Do you see this beautiful ah, Sunday sunset? Beautiful Sunday sunset. Hmm. Hi, Kiki. Hey. <laughs> I am so happy to hear you are fine. Yes, I am. I'm fine. I am. <laughs> I'm doing really well. I uh, am glad that um, I'm feeling way better than I was feeling earlier today. And, um, yeah, had a, had a beautiful morning doing in front of Hot Pilates, and then I, I had a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a hiccup in the middle of the day that affected me, because somebody went home with my yoga mat, <laughs> my beloved yoga mat, uh, my really, really lovely yoga mat uh, from the yoga studio um, and I am trusting that they uh, took it by mistake and that it will find its way back to me <laughs> um, shortly uh, but uh, it was an interesting uh, day today like reflecting on the attachments we have to material to our material possessions, you know, and I found myself, you know, I've been working on uh, detachment from material possessions for many, many years, and I've learned uh, many lessons about that in various forms, in various ways, and um, most recently, just, um, Wally! Uh, most recently realizing that, uh, you know, it's interesting how uh, we get attached to these things and actually how little we really need uh, in life in order to be happy and that we really don't need a lot and we don't really need material possessions in order to, to feel super solid. Uh, on the inside and sometimes you know uh, well what is what is it that I want to say here sometimes um, we might find ourselves in situations where uh, we're put in, in, in position of, of having less in order to um, get more solid on the inside get uh, a more stronger spiritual foundation uh, and be a lot to, and be solid on the inside uh, no matter what is happening on the outside and you know the external world but today was definitely a test because it it definitely wa I wavered and it really wobbled me out of my center and I realized that I am attached <laughs> to those uh, tools that are very much a part of my daily self-care toolkit like my beloved manduka yoga mat <laughs> that I invested um, a big chunk of money you know for a yoga mat and uh, then suddenly just disappeared I left it in the I left it in in the in the dressing room and I just 
went into you know behind a curtain to take a shower and then it was gone so it was an interesting day <laughs> in that way uh, reflecting on that anyhow enough about my yoga mat put your uh <laughs> positive vibes my way that this makes its um, way back to me <sighs> hey Lance hey Doug hey Debra hey guys good to see you here <sighs> hmm look at this beautiful sunset do you uh, do you ever take time to uh, say uh, good night to the sunshine that gives us light and heat <sighs> that fire energy in our life mm. it's a perfect beautiful place time of day to uh, take a moment sit in silence Get still and present and, you know, meditate. Yes. So there was a, a quick little message that was coming up. Uh, and I guess, uh, how did it come up? You know, I was, I uh, had a beautiful uh, cacao meditation. Heart, cacao is such a heart opening heart opening medicine and my friend hey Jordan good to see you how are you my friend Sita Rama um, she carries this medicine and she makes the most delicious cacao uh, and uh, I actually if you want to check out my stories I caught a little bit of our little ceremony that we did and um, she got to share what was in her rose blend so delicious um, cacao that she cooked for us and there the the cord cutting cord cutting ceremony was um, mentioned cord cutting you know <sighs> which is a really helpful useful um, Mm. what's the word um ceremony <laughs> I don't want to overuse this word here but um yeah a useful ceremony to uh, um, a practice a beautiful practice to um, do every once in a while or as often as needed when you notice that there is an energy leak happening in your field when you find that you are feeling quite emotionally attached to a person an object a situation and you are you know thinking a lot about it and it's just creating havoc in your internal uh, field and uh, it's it's a good thing to you know practice um, it's really good when you end a relationship for instance or if you are uh, in a space where you're calling in a beloved in your life a partner and you want to open up that space it's a beautiful thing to practice as well by um, releasing old lovers, partners, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, husbands, you know, exes, and to practice that. Um, and the way it was shared today is cord cutting, but uh, I wanted to just just uh, share this idea and something that a teacher of mine um, shared with me is that instead of cutting cords, energetic cords with others, other beings um, and situations is to actually unhook the, the cords because when you cut a cord the, um, the hook energetically is still there and still um, still taking up space in your field 
and so um, invoking that and hooking is what I have been practicing and what I'd like to you know just uh, share with you and invite you to if that feels like um, if that rings true for you and something that you resonate is to perhaps uh, practice unhooking of cords versus cutting cords hey Sean hello 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 um, Hmm. <laughs> ah, I just did a, a little bit of a, a little happy meditation and happy is such a grounding medicine and here I am sitting on a rock with nature, with mother earth and I'm feeling really grounded, I'm feeling really slow grounded I'm slowing down and I'm feeling uh, the empty presence of this moment the empty presence that I am and not much um, as far as words is wanting to come through which actually leads me to something else that I want to share because I was um, in a conversation with a sister today we're talking about you know um, the people who like herself and myself and others are called to facilitate uh, workshops and meditation circles and whether it's cacao ceremonies or sound healing or whatever kind of healing um, space for others and yet there's also you know there is that calling and yet there's also a fear there a fear of of being seen a fear of uh, showing up, a fear of failing, a fear of um, failing others and those we're facilitating space for. Um, and so part of the reflection was that, you know, when we focus on the other and when we focus on being of service and when we focus on other than ourselves and how we may be perceived or whether we may not um, we, whether we like may you know get uh, spaced out or forget or say the wrong thing or nothing comes through you know how there may be judgment on the other end and so I guess you know part of was coming through is that as long as the intention for um, as long as there is you know a good hearted loving uh, compassionate intention there for showing up holding solid space for others to be and to presence and to get still and to receive the energy of the field that uh, we're intending to 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 help facilitate um, that is often enough and that sometimes the energy of stillness and silence is what comes through strongly that we may mistaken um, as like us just going into like this space of oh my god what am I supposed to do like I totally am not sure what I'm supposed to do and in that moment is um, perhaps um, embracing 
that what you're supposed to do is just hold that space of silence and stillness for everybody. I hope that resonates because I am definitely like transmitting this from that that kind of space and uh, I'm a little bit spaced out which I wasn't expecting to be in that place but uh, it's actually perfect for for this transmission here the same goes for you know those of us who are called to um, embrace visibility online and to reach a global um, to reach others globally with our medicine and a lot of time there there is that fear of being seen and sharing our voice and fearing that uh, what what, what uh, we feel like um, should be shared may actually we may stumble and not know how to share or you know lose our words and uh, something to um, really um, ref to like contemplate on is the fact that your very presence, your essence, your energy is the gift, is the medicine. And it's what perhaps in that moment is needed um, or uh, how do I want to say this? Perhaps it's the exact medicine that somebody needs to receive. You know, maybe it's your eyes. <sighs> maybe it's your stillness. Maybe it is your silence. Maybe that is the medicine of um, allowing to be witnessed in that. You know, there's so many people in the world who are so caught up in the busyness and the dynamic lives that we live today that they have lost the ability to slow down they've lost the ability to know how to be present to be in solitude with their own thoughts or how to get into no thingness nothingness and yeah here is the sunset and you know it's like what does need to be said when you're a witness to this magic this beauty that is inviting you in a way requesting requiring you to be still for a moment. Get quiet. Be grateful for the beauty that surrounds us every day. All around us, all this beauty. To be grateful for the fact that you're here, that you are alive. You're alive at this time, in this present moment. To be grateful that you are breathing. <laughs> Love you so much. Sending so much blessings your way so many blessings blessings 
Beloveds. Hmm. A question that I'm practicing asking lately. I'm inspired to continuously ask is how may I be of help to you? How can I be of service to you? Let me know. Reach out. Send me a message. DM me, PM me, whatever the the right expression for that is. I am really uh, looking forward to connecting with you, tuning in with the people who are tuning in with me here, creating a deeper connection. Mm, thank you, Jordan. Thank you, and sending you so much love. So much love here. From my heart to yours. From this place. Straight into you, wherever you are. And uh, wishing you healing and mm, calming vibes. I'm sorry to hear. Um, thank you for sharing a little bit of your story on my yesterday's life and I'm sorry to hear that you have gone through some turbulence in your life and wishing you a smooth riding forward, smooth journeying, lots of grace and peace and ease for you in your heart mm, thank you Silas Silas I'm not sure how to pronounce your name correctly thank you yeah the inner self the debtlessness part of us That which is eternal, everlasting, the truth, the golden light consciousness within. Yeah, love is. Hmm, love is. Love. Returning to love. I wasn't raised religious and I didn't really, wasn't forced into any like religious beliefs. And I certainly didn't have any like relationship with Jesus Christ um, when I was growing up. But I, re I've in the last few years have been having personal um, mm, what's the right word? Uh, interactions, occurrences. There have been occurrences of like. Uh, I've been uh, forming, a, you know, Jesus has been coming into my life <sighs> in unexpected ways and um, just very, very recently I was sitting in an ayahuasca ceremony and uh, I was asking for guidance and I... Uh, had this really, there was this really, really strong presence of the eternal golden light Christ consciousness coming into my field and 
and Jesus actually kissing my third eye and <laughs> we said third eye at the same time <laughs> uh, that's awesome Silas <laughs> yeah I was in ceremony and this light like a comet just fast approaching from the eternal cosmic space and coming straight to me and right in front of my third eye and Jesus showing up and kissing my third eye and the message was love remember to come back to love and to do your best to navigate around the mind the mind will create all kinds of stories to keep us in its own you know to keep us uh, engaged in the agenda that it has for us and created for us and um, so just be very conscious of not clashing with the mind and buying the story and just if you can just like you know navigate like in traffic oh the mind's coming in make sure you go the other lane and always come back to the heart and to love love returning to love Mm, beautiful Jordan <sighs> alright guys it is late here I am so happy that I got to share the sunset with you this beautiful sunset look at the sky it's so gorgeous it's so oh so beautiful just so beautiful Hmm. <laughs> thank you for tuning in you know I love you so much and I appreciate you so much I appreciate you for sharing this space and your energy with me and I only hope that there is something um, that I um, am able to bring to you that I can be of service somehow in these sharings directly indirectly it's not always obvious but uh, my intention is to imprint the field and to always show up and come here in a loving way from a loving place with compassion in service hmm <laughs> yeah I love this land and I have a couple more weeks here and I'm just really loving it I'm loving this opportunity to walk outside and yeah, put my feet on the earth and be amongst the, the trees and the rocks and the stones and the trees and the birds and all of this magic that is nature. Mm. <laughs> uh, thanks guys for hanging out. things to you. May this be an invitation for slowing down each day before you go to sleep, when you wake up, you know, like that first part of like first hour, first few minutes of the day, so important for setting the the energy of the rest of your day and remembering to just 
always do your best to come back to your center to what is truth when life happens and there's outside triggers and all kinds of opportunities to wobble you out of your center so remember and the more the more the more you become familiar with this place of stillness and silence and cultivate peace and ease within and truly learn what it is to relax fully into this being the easier it gets and more quickly you're able to return back to this place even when externally what's happening around you uh, is chaos you know being still and centered and grounded and silent and peaceful uh, in the middle of a storm in the eye of the storm <laughs> don't know the exact expression but you get me right manifest affirmations and yes this is a beautiful space and place to manifest this is kind of like the foundational space um, to sprout the feelings uh, that you want to be feeling in your life what it is that you want to manifest in your life what is the feelings that you're experiencing in that future projection of yours of when you have what you've manifested and can you be in that feeling in this moment that's the best um, affirmation is being in the feeling of what it is you're creating of what it is that you're desiring to have learning to have that learning what it is to have the feeling of having having abundance of love and prosperity and abundance of peace in your heart and feeling at ease in being here love peace happiness silence yes let go of everything that doesn't serve you yes indeed yes indeed and in these moments yes in the stillness in the silence in the moments of um, that you give for yourself to you know cultivate that you know meditative state coming into the neutral mind that middle ground you're able to or ideally you can more easily invoke um, more easily release what no longer serves you and it's important for us to learn how to discern to be honest with ourselves to be honest with ourselves you know about our attachments and the things that we're holding on to so strongly afraid we're gonna lose it even though it doesn't serve us because that's what we've learned we you know the addictions that we have whether those are to you know like um, drinking and smoking and drugs and alcohol and sex and whatever it's actually emotional like you know whether it's food or emotional uh, addictions to feeling a certain way so being very truthful and sincere and that's the biggest challenge you know the challenge is that oftentimes we actually 
know exactly what we need to let go or what is it what it's not serving our highest um, purpose on this earth but we turn a blind eye you know we just don't allow ourselves to see because perhaps we hope something will change or you know things will go differently um, but the seed ultimately has been corrupted I hope that makes sense so yes letting go letting go like you know the letting go ceremony the unhooking the cords from all and everything everyone that does not serve your highest and best I <laughs> uh, love all your comments you guys thank you love all your interaction here thank you for contributing to this energy and to imprinting the field with this beautiful vibration these beautiful frequencies here at this time hey Kimberly hello mmm it's starting to get dark. Well, it's time to say good night. Wishing you a wonderful evening if it is evening where you're at, because I know some people are tuning in from, you know, the southern hemisphere of the earth, and so your day is perhaps just beginning. But if you're going to sleep right now, and maybe you're just waking up right now, whatever it is, um, Tune into the feelings that you want to experience today. Tune into the feeling of gratitude. It's very important. The, the last thoughts and feelings that you have and feel before you go to sleep and the first thoughts and feelings that you experience, it's very important for us to be intentional in that way as creators of our own reality as the magicians and the alchemists that we are. <laughs> yes, I am so grateful to share this moment with you, Jordan. Blessings, all the love to you and your heart. Love you guys. Have a beautiful evening. Bye. So much love to you. Love you. And I'll see you soon. Blessings, 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 blessings on your path. Blessings on your journey.